Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Oh, come on, Peach. You're not fooling anyone. You and I both know that you want Mario over there for other reasons. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my walkthrough of Super Mario 64. Got a little flyby intro before they show off the main man with the blue overalls. Here he is. Yahoo indeed! And normally I would explain the controls, but the game does a very good job of explaining all the game's controls themselves, so I'll let the game speak for itself here. So yeah, they just want to teach me how to check stuff, like say signposts, by pressing the B button. Indeed I see that. And a couple more tutorials here. In fact, there's a couple of tutorials out in the... Uh, uh, courtyard. So uh, before you go inside the castle and start your adventure, you might want to play around here and see what you can do with the controls. Just saying, just so let you get the hang of it and stuff like that. We got another sign over here. Indeed, it is easy. All you have to do is just jump right at those suckers and you'll climb right up them. And yeah, once you get to the top of something like so, you can press up. He'll do this, and you will fly off in the direction that Mario's cap is facing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Great camera there. Uh, down here is a swimming lesson. Yoo-hoo! <clears throat> swimming is very easy. It almost seems like it's an airplane of sorts, and that you press down to go up, and press up to go down. Left and right is normally, so it's got an inverted access. And yeah, it's, it's saying that you can't open doors underwater because there are actually some doors underwater here, but you can't do anything about them, at least just yet. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. There's also a suspicious looking hatch here, but let's just ignore that for now and go up to the castle. Please don't throw spinies at me, I would very much appreciate that. Oh, you're a news reporter, thank goodness. <sighs> I've had so many issues with you guys, but no offense, I know you guys aren't all bad. <laughs> it's just I tend to panic when I see one of you. So he's giving you a little tutorial on the camera, which are these C buttons, so play around with them as well. The R button also controls the camera as well, but you probably won't use the Mario cam all that much, because the Mario cam just like really zooms in on you. <laughs> so I, I would definitely recommend sticking with the Lakitu cam most of the time. Anyway. Let's go inside and get ourselves some cake. Welcome. No one's home. Now scram and don't come back. <laughs> well, someone's obviously home because otherwise someone wouldn't be saying that and Bowser's apparently the axe murderer now. <laughs> uh, hey, Toad, how's it going? You talk to Toads just like you would signposts, so Toads are signposts. Am I glad to see you? The princess and I and, well, everybody, we're all trapped inside the castle walls! Bowser has stolen the castle stars and he's using our power to create his own world in the paintings and walls! Please recover the power stars! As you find them, you can use their power to open the doors that Bowser has sealed! There are four rooms on the first floor, starting in the first one with the painting of the bottom side. It's the only one that Bowser hasn't sealed. When you collect <coughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> I can't do that voice all day. When you collect eight power stars, you can nearly be able to open the door with the big star. The princess must be inside. So yeah, once you go over to doors with a star on them like so, yeah, it, it takes the number of stars that you need to get in there as it's shown on the door. There's also a couple locked doors, a couple in inaccessible doors. I mean, that has pretty much nothing in them. So let's just go in the door with the single star, the single unmarked star, and I can actually flip around like so, because you can actually be... <laughs> you, you can slam your face into things, but I mean you can read some <laughs> signboards behind him. And it's teaching you the triple jump. It's, it's all about the timing. It's a hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> so yeah, wow, wow, they're even teaching the long jump, and wow, that's... I mean, not the long jump, the uh... Um, 
Oh yeah, that David is the long jump, my mistake. I was thinking he was named something else. For some reason, I don't know why. And yeah, it's just teaching you. That's actually a rather handy thing that you can use to get back to the lobby of the castle <clears throat> castle really quickly quickly if you'd like to. Dang it, now I can't talk after doing Toad's voice. I probably scared people away of the video thinking that I'm gonna be talking like that the whole walkthrough. <laughs> Although it is fun, I have to admit it, but it's gonna kill my throat if I do it. Anyway, you'll see that there's a, a painting here. It's, it's nothing all that out of the ordinary. Oh, it, it shimmers. What if I were to jump inside it? And that is how you enter the world in Super Mario 64. The worlds are in paintings. Well, most of them are anyway. Big bob -omb on the summit. Let's start the first star of the game. I will be getting every single star in the game in this walkthrough. It's gonna be fun. And it's a war at the bob -omb battlefield. It's, uh, I guess we're gonna find out the issues of this place as I chat around. So, hey, bob -omb buddy. I don't, I don't wanna punch you, I wanna talk to you. Dang it, Mario. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're shooting water bombs at each other, so maybe they aren't all that dangerous though the water bombs do sting but they aren't like insta kill explosions or anything like that uh yeah sure i'll go check out the big bob on there and see if i can take care of him and what do you have to say about this war situation hmm i will do so uh i'm not gonna do too much exploring while i am uh, getting just regular old stars but i will do the exploring in the 100 coin stars later because i figured i could it would be uh organized that way just a little bit better it'd be more uh concise so to speak in the walkthroughs organization but i will take a look at signs along the way here just because i like to show stuff and yeah it's teaching you the basics of combat and throwing and you can even test it on those boxes. Well, there's some they're like cracked blocks or something like that. So don't worry, I'll be a lot faster in a few. Did I just seriously tell well slide back over to the sign when I went press B button by the block? It, the one time I don't want to talk to the sign or check out the sign, I end up checking out the sign. <laughs> And yeah, you can use boxes to blow away enemies. Coins recover health. Gold coins are worth one. Uh, re red coins are worth two. Blue coins are worth five. And they recover that much health on your power meter, which I didn't even take a hit, so I can't really show that. Maybe I'll have to purposefully take a hit to show you what I mean about the power meter. And wow, a lot of tutorials in this first part. Yes, siree. <laughs> so hey, Goomba. Hey. Hey, you. Hit me. Yeah, you've got eight pie pieces of health there, and you can kill enemies to get coins and recover your health. That's how it works, basically. It's, the game's pretty flexible, so you don't have to worry about that stuff too much. And these are uh, bob -omb's here. They, when you pick them up, they eh, get... There we go. <laughs> they start lighting up, and when you throw them, they explode, or they will explode naturally. Hey, what's this signboard say? Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm already doing a see up sort of stance here, so I don't think I'll have to, have to do that at all. Um, there's some more stuff over over there, but as I said, I'll do the exploration as I need to go, as I go. So I'm just going to stay to the point as I get the stars and check out signboards along the way. And uh, Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to use that eventually, but I'll only use that when I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Crouch to walk to, never mind. They're indicating this. <laughs> you can use that to get up rather steep slopes that you would normally fall down, and there are some water bombs. They, You can tell where they're dropping out from by their shadow, so they're rather predictable overall. And another signboard. They're all over the place. Oh, poopers. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to infiltrate it via this completely or mostly I should say unguarded opening off to the left here <laughs> so I'm inside the fortress and there's some marbles rolling around yes they do hurt you so you gotta look out for that and we're just going around counterclockwise and you can't talk to these bob -ombs. they are the enemy kind of bob -omb. but I would like to oh, that worked out <laughs> I would like to talk to this oh, I'll check the signs along the way and yeah, you just 
it's all pretty much intuitive, actually. You d when you're on something, you just press buttons to see what they do if you would like to try that out. Like, see, I'm grabbing on the things. If I want to go back down, I press down. If I want to go up, I pre press up and I climb up on the thing. Alright, moving on. And I'm able to actually show off the uh, long jump a little bit further. These holes are where the marbles come from, by the way. I just thought I would mention that. And here's a cannon shooting out water bombs towards the bomb bombs down there. It's all out war, even though it's not all that destructive. <laughs> uh, this heart, when you run through it, it recovers your health, and the faster you run through it, the faster it recovers your health. Uh, I guess they're explaining health here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I was just explaining. Maybe I should have uh, checked the sign first before I did that explanation. <laughs> Alright, we are nearing the top. I could go all the way around if I wanted to, but... What? Seriously, Mario? <laughs> I'm just gonna backflip up on top, but anyway. Here is... Big Babam, the boss. Yeah, the first level starts out with a boss. <laughs> well, it's kind of unguarded, and you're kind of relying on the fact that people will not... I mean, that people will read your sign and heed to it, so I can't say it's something that you shouldn't be expecting. <laughs> Alright, bring it on! And he's hinting at how to defeat you. I mean, how to defeat him. <laughs> um, if you pick him up from behind and fling him off the mountain, he'll accuse you of cheating, which I'll show you right here. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> And he hops way back up there. Alright, say it. Go on. <laughs> and so yeah, what you have to do is pick him up from behind just by pressing the B button like you do any other bob -omb, and just throw him right on their arena. No problem. And then just wait for him to lock back onto you and walk towards you because if you don't wait for him to do that, he is going to be able to track your every movement and you will never be able to get behind him like this. <laughs> See what I mean? Just wait for him to walk towards you and go around. If you um, if you let him pick you up, he'll try to throw you off the mountain himself. But you can just climb back up, obviously, and finish the finish the job. <laughs> well, you weren't all that hard, so I don't really think. Uh, well, I suppose you are the the, the grand poobah of all babams, but I don't really see you. I, I don't understand why you're surprised at all this, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and there is the first star of the game. Yeah. Here we go. Woo! And it poops you back out the painting, and now it'll remind you that you can open doors now that you have one star in your possession. That, you know, that has one star on it. But I'm gonna go back into the uh, level and... Do the next star. This is going to be a foot race with Koopa the Quick. Let's get it started. So now you'll see that there is a Koopa over there which wasn't there before, but let's see what the, the bombs have to say about me defeating the king. Oh, poopers. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to get back every single power star, aren't I? <sighs> because none of these guys are able to do it themselves. <laughs> You wait, you you don't use cannons? So what the heck was that thing that you were using a little while ago? Like, there was a cannon firing off in... Uh. <laughs> so now cannons open up here and... Uh, yeah, you'll be able to unlock cannons using this bob -omb in other future stages if you don't do it now. So just saying, you'll need them for later stages. Anyway, I'm going to get to the uh, real deal battle here. And by battle, I mean it is going to be a race. Oh yes, the greatest race in history. And along the way, I'm going to show you a couple of cheaty cheat cheats that you can use along the way to make sure that you definitely will win this. Sure, you already know how to get up to the top of the mountain, don't you? So I might as well show you a way to get up there even faster than you did before. So, yeah, we we're racing up to the top, but there's a couple of warp points that you can use that can actually get you there faster. Like over here, if you stand in this spot, it'll warp you over here by the gate. <laughs> yeah, it's 
kind of cheap, and he doesn't actually accuse you of cheating, but if you use cannons or fly, he will accuse you of cheating. I'll, I'll, well, I, I kind of spoiled something there with the whole flying thing, but uh, you'll get what I mean very shortly anyway when I get 10 stars. Uh, and I'm able to go to that the certain course that'll allow me to get a certain thing and here is warp number two in the level You just go inside here and it transports you all the way to the top so whoop. And once you go over here to touch the flag the race is over Woo! And now I wait it's gonna take quite a while for Koopa the quick to get up here So, how was your day today? Mine was pretty good. I was setting up for Super Mario 64 here. <laughs> and uh, I think I can... There he is! I was going to say I could hear him coming. Uh, he still doesn't jump over the edge like he could possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Koopa the Quick. You just did not stand the chance against the warps. And yeah, he considers that fair and square even though I used warps, but it's really easy to beat him even without the warps, because as I showed you just a little while ago, it's easy to get up bob -omb Battlefield without the warps. I didn't have any issues getting up there. Woo! And yes, I will save and continue. And I'm gonna do one more star here just because it's going to be really quick. Shoot to the island in the sky. Uh, if you didn't activate the cannon already, be sure to talk to this Babam to activate the cannon. And I'll show you how to use cannons by going in this very first one, actually. So you plop inside the hole, and you go into a first-person shooter mode. And of course, your angle and everything affects how you how you fly. I'm gonna aim out really high and really far to go over to this side of the level because I didn't show that already. And over here is a Koopa. If you jump on him, you'll be able to steal a shell, and you are practically invincible as you are shell surfing. Woo! Uh, but this this chomp will be able to, to stop you. <laughs> it's not completely. It doesn't make you completely invulnerable, but it's pretty fun to shell surf. Anyway, go up here. Go inside this cannon. Shoot all the way up to this island. Like pull all the way back. Now move a little bit forward, now shoot, and you should, keyword should, land on the island, yes, this floating island up here, and in this, oh yeah, this this is something for later, that's what I'm talking about with flying, in fact I won't be able to get all the stars in this level until I get the uh, wing cap here, so I guess I didn't spoil something in uh, a later part because I, I just spoiled something later on in this part. <laughs> But yeah, it's just teaching you how to fly here. Now over here, oh, oh another signpost. Might as well check that out. Yep, yeah, Mario. <laughs> and you gotta look out for the red numbers as well in courses. They're invisible, and some of them are really hard to find. Specifically in this one wet, dry world sort of place that I'm hinting at here. And it's yeah. Anyway, this is the star that you're looking for. And another one bites the dust. And with that, I think... Uh, thanks for interrupting me, dialogue box, and for telling me something that I already knew. <laughs> so, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.